personally feel like you and Jeremy should have just done it very raw and authentic with you and him just sitting in y'all apartment as y'all normally do. For the people who thought you were using Keisha to be like, oh, y'all intimidated by Keisha her and her success, I, I disagree with that, Jeremy. I think we can all just agree on that that wasn't just a one night stand between him and his child's mother. Welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Brie on TV where I am your host, Brie. I'm giving y'all real like Afro beat vibes at the moment. In this video, I will be giving a reaction to the sit down that Keisha and Jeremy Postel who, if this is your first time tuning in to one of my videos and you're kind of like, well, I don't know. I feel like if you're tuning into this video, then you sis, you know what's up. Um, but basically, just to reiterate, <laughs> a very popular YouTube couple, a millennial couple at that, <laughs> Keisha Anderson and Jeremy Postel uh, recently released an ebook titled Cue the Relations. I did a review on that book and they're just you know scenario of the situation that's at hand which is Jeremy stepping outside of the relationship that him and Keisha were in and getting another woman pregnant so that was the big controversy or the plot twist in regards to their book titled cue the relations so Keisha told us in her vlog that her and Jeremy attempted to do the sit down video and I guess it just wasn't hitting I don't know if she felt like, I don't know what her reason was. I don't know if it just wasn't coming as naturally as she felt like it should. Um, I don't know if she just wanted to just sit there and be asked questions more so like interview style. But um, they basically reattempted the sit down video and they made it more of a production. But me personally, my two cents on the production that y'all ended up turning the sit down into, I personally feel like you and Jeremy should have just done it very raw and authentic with you and him just sitting in y'all apartment as y'all normally do and y'all sitting more face to face and actually like you know putting a lot of emotions into the questions at hands and the response but then again Keisha said they have already have dealt with you know the situation and everything involving the situation off camera. I just think that you and Jeremy should have sat should have sat a lot closer to each other, just so that way y'all can kind of like be in tune with what each other is saying. But with majority of the time, y'all kind of like looking at the camera and not knowing how the other person may be feeling, bringing up this you know controversial topic or just the emotions that come behind the questions that are being asked. Um, in that aspect, I just didn't like how far apart y'all were sitting away from each other. I guess because everybody was anticipating it. So I think that had a lot to do with the video, um, having the views that it had. But I know, basically, it said that the video was posted an hour ago, and it was already at 12k views. And so I'm just like, okay, do I watch it once I leave brunch? Do I watch it now? You know, because with something to this aspect, you kind of just don't want, you just want to, you, you just want to catch it like while it's, you know fresh but on this sit down video they did turn off the comments if you want to add in your two cents down below in the comment section to let me know why you feel like they turned off the comments say i would say they probably turned off the comments because they didn't want any backlash on how jeremy decided to answer half of the questions or how keisha has informed everybody why she has has decided to continue moving forward with jeremy or how she continues to move on with jeremy or how she has answered a lot of the questions. One thing I will say about this production video, <laughs> we all seen that there was a lot of flies <laughs> throughout this production video because I cannot tell you how many times I had to keep laughing because it was just, it was just, I guess so many flies, but they just had to keep going like, <laughs> I don't know. That was just very funny to me. So one of the first questions that they were asked was, basically why did y'all des decide to share this information with the public and jeremy basically responded it was gonna come out eventually which is what i basically had mentioned in the previous review that i did 
or my opinion as to why I felt that they decided to even release the book in the first place. And he also mentioned something about he didn't want to receive backlash for keeping it a secret and he didn't want it to tarnish his name or his credibility. And then Keisha added in, they also didn't want it to tar tarnish their morals or go against their morals that they have, which is very understandable. In Keisha's response, she mentioned along the lines of, as her as a woman and as a mother, she wanted the situation or the dynamic to be fair and including the child in their family activities. So for that aspect, for that aspect I do respect you as a woman he should, especially at your age, because you know, us as women, that's just such a sticky situation to be in. But I do feel like just women in general, whether you're a millennial or whether you're in your 40s, having to deal with the love of your life, creating an outside family of the union that y'all have created, and for you to then take it upon yourself or having to face that situation, whether that may have been you reaching out to the mother and y'all having a woman to woman or whether you and Jeremy coming together and having a conversation with um, his child's mother um, to talk about the situation at hand. That just I just don't know how I, Brianna, would act in a situation of that nature. Another question that was asked was, is Jeremy using Keisha? I just personally don't think he's using Keisha. I think he just got too comfortable. Yeah, I just think he got too comfortable. He got too comfortable in the situation that him and Keisha were in. And on that aspect, that is why I mentioned, I just want Jeremy, I just want Jeremy to boss up. That way. I think you'll get a lot more respect if you decide to take the situation and turn it into a positive, like boss up on Keisha, like, um, I don't know, figure out what your girl like to do, whether that's taking her on vacations or, you know, courting her to like surprises that you may put together for the family. It's the but Jeremy's response to the question of if he's using Keisha was no. As we all assumed, he would answer. I mean, why would you just blatantly say, well, yeah, I kind of was like, I mean, we all assumed that you was going to say no. It's good that you try to give Keisha, you know, that upper hand, but... For the people who thought you were using Keisha to be like, oh, y'all intimidated by Keisha her, and her success? I, I disagree with that, Jeremy. I disagree with that on all levels. For people who are watching Keisha's channel, we genuinely love Keisha. We've gotten, we, we've grown to love Keisha. So people just want to see the best for Keisha because we see how hard she works as a businesswoman. Like, we see her out here getting these brand deals. So no, we don't want anybody to come into her lifestyle and just, you know, put all of these negative situations on her and, you know, just take her down. So another question that was asked was, would you have told Keisha about your cheating if you did not get the other woman pregnant? Um, Jeremy responded and basically said something along the lines of they had a heart to heart and that's when he eventually came clean with Keisha about his cheating and about I guess whatever else he was doing out here in the streets or behind her back. No, it's just I'm a female and I'm just not dumb to the game but I think we can all just agree on that that wasn't just a one night stand between him and his child's mother. Um, I do kind of feel like Sis may have been the side chick person. Keisha did mention that they did seek counseling after they had their heart to heart and that they were um in the process and that they were in the healing process once the news came about that Jeremy may have been um a father to another female. And she also mentioned that she herself found out two weeks before Joy was born that the paternity test had determined that he was the father of the other woman's child. That type of hurt that you had to have been going through, not one that he, you know, had cheated on you multiple times, but just the fact that he now has to tell you that he is a father to another woman's child while y'all are in that relationship, just that type of hurt, I wouldn't even wish on my worst enemy.
Me personally, Jeremy, what I would have loved watching this sit down video from you, I would have loved if you would have gave Keisha a public apology only because I do feel like you do owe that to her um, in regards to the situation that you have put your entire family in. Jeremy, he also opened up about not having his father in his life. And he was hurt that so many people wanted Keisha to split up their family. I mean, I personally could have cared less if she stayed with you or she decided to leave. I don't think it was anything negative of people wanting Keisha to walk away with the children from you or for you to pack your bags and no longer live in their household. We just wanted Keisha to heal properly. Another question that was asked was, would the son be in the vlogs and jeremy responded and said the path that their channel is on no the son will not be in the vlogs he's an innocent baby and he doesn't want the baby to be criticized due to his actions which that i will say i totally respect due to the situation there's a lot of negativity that has been brought to their channel not saying that there was no negative there was no negativity surrounding their channel beforehand you know the internet is cruel people gonna feel entitled <laughs> and that's what you don't want people to do you don't want to give people that one up to feel like they're entitled as so far as far as how y'all decide to move forward with y'all family and the new baby that y'all will be bringing in the next question that was asked was does keisha have a good relationship with the child's mother and keisha responded along the lines of she has a respectful and i guess cordial relationship with the child's mother she said it did take her a lot to get there which is very understandable she also basically um stated that she is not that child's mother. So in regards to communication, she wanted everybody to be on the same accord. So she wanted Jeremy to then, you know, reach out to his child's mother. And then she wanted the child's mother to feel like she was able to reach out to Jeremy in regards to, you know, their child, which is very respectable. So in correlation to that question, that's when Jeremy was asked, do you still have a relationship with your child's mother? I don't know. I was really confused in his response. Because I don't know if he was trying to say that he, was born, was bigger than he did whatever, have a relation. Whatever we had going on. Cause like a relation like, with man, his child's like, mother. Like, or now that she like, had told him she was pregnant, he decided to cut off all communication. And then when she discovered that she was pregnant and that the child could possibly be Jeremy's, that's when they then had to then go back to communicate it, I was really following that question. Jeremy was also asked, "Did you sleep with the other women more than once?" I think that's what the question was kind of gearing like towards, and I was career. confused with his response to that as well. Now. It was yeah. too many cuts and too many edits, like, so I didn't get a real clear understanding yeah. of yeah. how he was trying to answer that night. question. He never ever. He may have gave too much ever. information. And, you know, they may have felt like that was none of our business. And then one of the last questions that they were asked or that Keisha was asked was, would you have stayed with Jeremy if y'all did not have children in the mix? And Keisha basically responded something along the lines of, you know, as we all do when we're with our girlfriends or if we're hanging out, you know, we always talk about what we would have, would have, or what we would or wouldn't have done in a situation at hand. But Keisha was basically letting us know that until that situation happens to you, until you are put in a situation like that, you don't know what you would do. And that I will have to say, I totally agree with you, Keisha, because I can sit up here and say, um, I would never take back my spouse or my boyfriend if he decided to cheat on me and have an outside baby. But until I personally feel like I am in that situation, I don't know what I would do. So how Keisha has decided to continue moving on with her union, that's how Keisha has decided to keep moving forward. And at this point, it's like y'all as viewers, y'all can decide to support Keisha by continuing to watch her channel and everything that they got going on moving forward or you could just feel like you know what i ain't really rocking with your channel no more just due to how you you know move now 
so I no longer can subscribe to your channel or watch your content. So with this reaction video, like, you know, it ain't no mess, it ain't no shade in regards to my reaction to how they did their sit down. I just basically wanted to add in my two cents um, since I have already released the review on their book. So as always, if y'all have made it to the end of this video, make sure you comment down below. I feel like it's definitely open for dialogue. Comment below how you feel the sit down went. for the streets to discover or you know marinate on and gossip about